Hello, fellow Fisher people. Happy Flannel Friday. I've got an unboxing for you today. This is the Shop Carl's Grab and Go Hard Bait Kit. Um, just to preface the video, Shop Carl's, Catch Co., it's Mystery Tackle Bots, etc., etc. Um, they do not sponsor me. They have not sent me anything for free. Any opinions I have are my own. I do have experience with some of their product lines, so I may talk about fishing with the baits. That's because I already own a version thereof, um, possibly. So uh, let's just go ahead and get into the unboxing. off that would make for a, an exciting video but probably one that wouldn't be considered friendly so we're going to start with the bubonic bugs square bill by chris grout uh, so this is a collaboration that uh, catchco did with uh, Chris Grout, who's an artist and um, really does some fantastic paint jobs on lures. So what they did was they they worked with him to create these designs and they replicated the designs on some of their crankbaits. Um, I'll take this out because it's pretty cool to see in person and out of the package. This is a square bill. Standard square bill. Um black hooks and a kind of a matte finish to it and it's got these like dead black shark eyes i absolutely love those um really really kind of gives that that look of a crayfish but in a crankbait so as you're bouncing this off the rocks and and yeah you know it's got a nice rattle to it you're gonna you're gonna attract the fish anywhere that um that there are crayfish available as a food for bass uh, you know large mouth small mouth um they're gonna love this thing bounce it off of rocks logs you know throw it under docks pull it out of there um, it's going to imitate a uh, either a feeding fish or a crayfish and i'm you're going to get some bites out of it i fished you know not this specific color before but i have fished this bait before um, and it works good uh, very nice very nice uh, towards the end of the video, uh, actually at the end of the video, what I'll do is I'll, uh, you know, kind of give you my thought on pricing. Did I get a good bargain or not? Um, tell you what I paid for it, what it's for selling for right now, and, um, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. So, all right, next on the list, this is a Livingston Lures. What in the heck is that? The Pro Ripper lipless crank bait um, it apparently creates i don't know if you can see that or not but electronic bait fish sounds i'm not sure if how i feel about this bait is this a gimmick or not um, i don't know if you've had any experience with it i guess i've not fished i fished with lipless crank baits before but not this specific uh, brand or anything with um, electronic bait fish sounds coming out of it. Uh, so I guess I'll let you know this spring when I start fishing um, out in my kayak again and the ice clears off the water uh, whether or not this works or if it's a gimmick. So I guess look forward for that video later on in the spring. Well, the color is True Bream. Kind of a golden shad color um could be mistaken for a young bluegill uh so i'd probably throw that in areas where bluegill are a predominant bait fish next out of the box excellent this is a guggen squad junior scout in color silver flash number six i fished this bait before um, i really like that hologram 
it's got that holographic finish to it. So under the water that catches a fish's eyes and it does really look like a silver colored bait fish uh, reflecting that light. My favorite part up here, you see this little hint of red. It's got a little red underneath the throat as well. Um, that, that really attracts the fish where I live. Uh, largemouth bass mostly and pike. So that's, I'll be fishing this, um, let's see if we got a depth on it here. Three to five feet, so I'll be tossing this on top of the um, weed beds in the spring before they've gotten too tall and pulling those fish that are, are down deep in the weeds looking for bait. And, you know, just kind of use this as a uh, fish finder. Um, you know, run this over the top, see where I start getting hits, then maybe follow up with a jig or something that's going to get down there in the in the spring grass. So three eighths ounce, three and a half inch. This is an outstanding bait in my opinion. Next out of the box. Uh, this is a Carl's Amazing Baits brand, Golden Boy. Um, color on this is Chartreuse Gill. So use that in a little bit cloudy days or turbid water, cloudy water. Um, you've got a nice chartreuse side with some bluegill stripes on it. Uh, kind of a blue, black, purple, pearlescent back. I kind of like that color on the back. Not, you know, it's hard to get a fish to look down on the bait, but um, if they do, I'm sure that they would be impressed with that color as well. So there you go. Where would I fish this? Um, you know, it's a standard square bill crankbait, so you're bouncing it off of rocks, um, pulling it through um, logs and sticks, uh, areas like that. Try not to get hung up too bad um, for what I paid for it. I don't think losing it would be that much of a, a tragedy, but um, still a good bait. Two and a half inch, third ounce. Yeah, nice. Two baits left. First is a Carl's Amazing Baits uh, Shiver Crank, a little bit deeper diver. This is a six to 10 feet. So this I'll be fishing in the spring um, before the weeds, uh, grass, or the, the lily pads get too high. I can just skim this off the tops of those and I should get down there in them. Um, you know, bring those fish out. It's got some rattles in there I can see. Uh, the color is Moonlight Shad. I don't do any night fishing, so I don't know if it actually look nice in the moonlight. You know, take it out in the sunshine. It's got a nice, it's kind of that same blue, purple, uh, pearlescent color, but it fades with a little bit of a chartreuse and then into a pearlescent clear uh, bottom. Um, where would I fish this? What conditions? Actually, with the colors on this, I would fish this sunlight, uh, clouds, uh, turbid water, clear water. It's kind of an all-purpose, all-around bait. Anywhere where you've got six to ten feet to work with, um, I think that's where I'd use this. You know, maybe drag it off of a drop-off, find a drop-off that's at about four or five feet, let this drag on the bottom there a little bit, and then watch it dip down once it hits that drop-off. Uh, that'll catch a lot of the fish that are hanging out right at that drop-off. Nice. Last but not least, uh, Yozuri, Rattle and Vibe. I do not have this color. This is, uh, I would guess, kind of a citrus shad. They don't, uh, Yozuri does not put their um, colors on the on the box uh, so i guess like a citrus shad or a, a baja shad something like that nice blue light blue color a uh, little bit of a chartreuse chartreuse on the belly and a and a white pearl side um if you live somewhere that's got shad or uh, kind of a bluish color to the bait fish this will work great for you uh, we don't really have that color where i fish uh, but i'm not gonna be afraid to throw it out there that's for sure uh, it's a you know Lipless crankbait, a little bit of rattle to it. Um, overall, pretty nice. I think that's it. Oh, oh, can't forget that. The Catch Co. sticker. Um, every bundle or box that I've gotten from Catch Co. or Shop Carl's, whatever you want to call it, does come with a fancy sticker. I put these on my Yeti mugs so that I know that a, it's my Yeti mug and nobody's going to walk away with it because I can identify it by the sticker. Nobody's caught on to that yet. Um, so I'm the only one doing it, so they can't have any excuse like, oh, I thought it was mine. Ha ha. Nope. Overall, what did I get? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six baits and a sticker. 
I went ahead and looked all of these up on shopcarls.com. And if they were not available at Shop Carl's, I looked them up elsewhere just to see what the price would be to order them separately. So separately overall, if you are a member of shopcarls.com and shopcarls.com has a membership uh, program like a Sam's Club or a Costco where you pay, I can't remember what it is, 30 bucks a year maybe. And and then you get to buy baits at a discount. Um, so at, at those prices, uh, the grand total of this box would have been $47.39. Um, if I had purchased these, I was not a member of Shop Carl's, that price would have been closer to $56.50. Uh, so what did I pay overall? Well, this box is right now on clearance at Carl's, shopcarls.com, and it is $14. Uh, so I saved anywhere from you know, $34.50 to $43.50. Uh, do I consider that a good bargain? Absolutely. Do I think this is something you should buy? Well, if you look at these colors, you look at these baits, you know, the colors you might get in that box um, could be different, but uh, uh, maybe not. So if the colors are nice and you like the baits, uh, this is a heck of a bargain because you're spending, uh, what, a little over $2 a bait. Um, you know, that's a pretty darn good price. So there you go. That's my recommendation. Have yourselves a wonderful day.